We're joined now by Dr. Julia Koenig, who is here to talk about her research on a very unique enzyme, which could be a game changer for gluten sensitive patients. Can you tell us about uh, your research and uh, your studying about the enzyme you focused on? Mm -hmm. So in our study, we found that this enzyme, it's called ANPEP, which is short for Aspergillus niger derived prolyl endoprotease, could degrade gluten in the, um, in the human stomach. And we had, in our study, we had 18 non-celiac gluten-sensitive subjects, and they came for three test days. And on each test day, they consumed a porridge and that contained half a gram of gluten in the form of two small crumbled wheat cookies. And then on one test day, they also got this enzyme in a high dose, on another test day in a low dose, and then they also got the placebo. And all this was in a double-blinded randomized manner, so we didn't know what they got and they didn't know. And then we found um, we sampled content from the stomach and the duodenum over three hours, mm -hmm. and we analyzed this content for gluten, and we could see that this enzyme actually degraded gluten by 80 to 90 percent compared to the placebo. Wow. How or why is this study so important if those patients are uh, avoiding gluten? Yeah, you're right. They're usually actually trying to avoid gluten, mm -hmm. but even when they're quite strict, they still unintentionally consume gluten. And often they are worried about unintentionally consuming gluten when they're invited out to friends' place or when they eat a dinner. And even when they eat gluten-free food, they don't know what's happening in the kitchen. The people there might use the same pan for gluten-containing food as when they later on use for food right. that contains gluten. So there's always a risk and they're worried about it. And the enzyme could help them to, and yeah, against the unintentional intake of gluten. So do you recommend this enzyme then to patients with celiac disease? So we do not recommend this enzyme as um, a way for celiac disease patients to start eating gluten again. They should always be on a gluten-free diet. But as I said, in situations where they're not sure that there's maybe some unintentional gluten, residual gluten, then they could take the enzyme as a digestive aid. But it's not intended to treat or prevent celiac disease. So in cases of accidental ingestion, yeah, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Um, and this enzyme, finally, is already on the market, is that correct? Yeah, it's already on the market. I'm not sure about the name of the products, but it's called Tolerase G. So. So it's already out there to help people. Mm, it is, yeah. All right, very good research. Dr. Okay. Julia Koenig, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you.